in fact we're only in a half its speed. As we reach the end of term, I think we should look back on the things we've been through during these extraordinary times. So how about something positive to start with? Any ideas? Well, l well, last year we had four months of no school, followed by the summer holidays. And then no school again at the start of 2021. I said tell me something positive. I'm glad, well, I'm glad that all of you, well, most of you, still caught up with the schoolwork at home. What else? Heavy times, big seems just a little slower. Binge watching my favourite box sets. Following Captain Tom doing his amazing work for the NHS. Ah, Captain Tom and we're lengthy left behind. Let's talk more about him later on. So what else made things bearable? Not having to go to the hairdressers because they'll close the result. Okay, thank you. So on the flip side, what things did we struggle with? Mom decided to cut my hair herself. She made a right mess of it. Yes, I had noticed. Don't worry, it'll grow back. So what things did we find difficult? Nothing left to a supermarket shelf in the first lockdown. Um, watching my parents keep their small business going. Um, not being able to give my grandparents a hug. That was awful. Yet here we are, over the works we hope, and slowly getting back to normal. As I said, what a year it's been. Okay then, let's run the clock back to March 2020. Who would like to remind us what happened? Well, with cases COVID-19 increasing and energies of around, we went into lockdown. We were told to stay at home, not to socialise, to only go out for essential shopping and exercise, to wash our hands early. Restaurants, bars, theatres, sports venues, a lot of shops and most of places closed and people were told to work from home, unless they were key workers. Schools stayed open for key workers children. But for most of us at the time, well, it felt like the summer holidays had started early. Yeah, but it felt feel, feel, feel didn't last long, remember? Of course, homeschooling! <laughs> No, I'm not taking advantage of the working from home arrangements. Yes, I realise 
this is not part of it. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll nearly it this afternoon. No, I won't watch Luke and I'll forget. Yes, I promise. Goodbye, Karen. Mum, is this a school thing you know? What? I'm not sure. So what is what? In my day, it was just nouns, verbs, and adjectives we need to know about. Let's have a look. <coughs> I'll spell check it. Yes, I know the director will be reading it. No, it won't be full of grammatical mistakes like last time. Yes, Karen. No, Karen. You have a good day too, Karen. Now, I'll conjunctionate in some room, please. It's okay, ma'am. I've done it. Right. Now I need to do history. But it's my turn on the computer. It's not fair. Ma'am, tell him. Hey, now. Watch all this much and find the sheet. You know about the natural. But please should keep it down here, okay? Sorry, Dad, but he's on the computer and I've got my master finished. You're right, just the games on it. No, fine. You can eat your shizzle and you do your mash. Where should, where should we do this at, please? Show me. One more complication, but I'm really stuck on the news. Well, let's see your working now, huh? Mm -hmm. That's not how we would put some education when we like it. What should we do for this? Look, if it goes on a map time that like that, and time that like that, and add them up. So why do you? Let's do it like that. You don't need to know why, right? I want to bed now. Not yet. There's a message from your mother. Will you call her for a chat? She's four babies to cut on her own. Well, I spent three hours with her yesterday talking to her through the kitchen window when I had a bit of a touch of me. Can't you tell her? No, she's your mother. Anyway, I've got the report to write for Karen at work, and there's these two to supervise. Stop it, you two. Or she'll work with you after you anyway. There's no story to start, and I have a science work kit and electricity. And I've got half an hour in. Right, here's what we'll do. Electricity, you see? Well, I should just be plugging the heat bump in that place. Then there's a light bulb button changing the downstairs to leave. Now, this is, well, I should just be following the grandma and listen to her talk about the other things for an hour. Now, oh, well, there's a, in, the, in the garden, but you can give the garden plant a cold cream shot. Now, I'll be, hmm, let me think. <laughs>
attend school after that, weren't we? Hmm. I know when my parents were happy when the new school year started in September. Mom says she's a new friend of the with teachers. Can't believe what we're up with. Ha, well, what can I say? We do try, but there were so many people who risked their life just to keep us ticking over. I remember! It was like watching a whole new set of Marvel characters coming together to battle a super villain. Yeah, COVID heroes. You know I'm fine. I reckon them great. It certainly was. <laughs> With a single click, my master plan for world domination is now implemented. Ma ha 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 ha. Ah, <laughs> oh, hello, you pathetic bunch. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Iris. Iris the Virus. Yes, I guess not the greatest name for something. I did consider Mona Corona, but that just sounds like an unusual for fear. The big labels are an option, but I figured people would think I was a second rate rapper. So, Iris the Virus it is. Soon everyone will know my name and all will file before me as I've been urgently had since the endings. Wah ha 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 ha. Well, that's why you're wrong. We will keep building for our future, so when you're nothing about distant memory, we shall still be standing strong. We will teach our future generations about how we stood together until we were no more. Time to face that, friends. You will be defeated. My fellow COVID heroes, unite and fight! Listen, everyone, we have just a tip of the iceberg. Many, many more lose their own safety in the fight against this virus. And you yourselves show such bravery that can be hardship, loneliness, and domestic change. So invite the comforts and the respect for us throughout. And remember how you cut for the NHS, for peace, trust.
I would like to tell you about another hero. As I can be explained, there are so many heroes who have learned aliens by them, but none of them captured our imagination as much as one time for them. In our new event, we will want to pay for Tony We decided that he was going to raise a thousand pounds for the NHS charity, but we'll come up with Jack Bell's garden before the country birthday. As his story became national news, he was seen a household name, and his son was terrible. <coughs> The modern movement is such a little beyond the 1,000 pounds we voted for. Donations totaled up over 30 million pounds in this room. In recognition of his amazing efforts, is made an on the week hurdle. And on July 17, 2020, he became a knightly rub when Her Majesty's Queen asked him to arise at this satanic room. Yeah, panic van. What was that all about? If we didn't get to the supermarket super early, there wouldn't be anything left on the shelves. Well, except for stuff like broccoli. If you wants to eat that, yeah. And why did everyone suddenly start to stock up on toilet roll? I read a bit about coronavirus and nowhere could I find one of 
its symptoms was increasing. Let's go to the loo. We went to Wigs for any. We use ketchup oil until they run out too. So what do you do? You don't want to know. <coughs>
definitely did present us with lots of rules and regulations, which meant big changes to our lives. I found some of the instructions that were given really confusing, and they were always changing. The people in charge were struggling to know what to do for the best sometimes. Ha, huh, it seems to be next to them all the time. The thing is, if they can't read the mind talk, how are we supposed to know what to do? Shops had to shut, then they could open, then they had to shut again. We could have moved to restaurants, then we all pulled two feet out to help out, then we all talked again that we couldn't be there. We weren't allowed to play sports, then we were put on the outside. I couldn't watch my favourite team play. I couldn't keep up. I was all thinking about bubbles and tears. Who you could see, where you could see them, and for how long. I really didn't envy the people who had to the week after week in front of the cameras and up in the nation. <laughs> I didn't get any sleep last night worrying about this. Me neither. It seems like every week we have to tell people something different that they have to do. It's what it's about, but... No wonder why they're getting confused. Maybe we're just making things clear enough for them. Don't leave your house unless you have to leave the house. Don't go to work unless you have to go to work. You can mix people in a bottle of six unless there's an arm. And it hasn't rained for three days. And then there's the tears. You're in this tear, you're in that tear. This whole thing happened in tears. Which is why we need to give you a so did you manage to get dropped from that tent, please? Well, it's not to try. Can't do it from harm. It's certainly radical. I'll give you that. You might as well give it a shot. Okay, then. Let's do this. Thank you, everybody, for joining us at today's country. Now, as you're aware, the situation with regard to this virus is really serious. We understand that the instructions we have previously given may have been unclear, leaving many of you unsure about what you need to do. However, while we wait for the next set of scientific findings from which we need another set of different instructions for you, there are three things we need to do. Three things which have remain the same since the beginning of all this. And today we would really like to reinforce you. As soon as you know, you can no doubt. Firstly, wash your hands over the frequency, as we know you can pick up the rise with any effect of surface. Secondly, you too must be distant from people and leaving your home for safer activity. And thirdly, wear a mask to reduce the risk of transmitting and contracting the virus through your breath. Now, we've said these things before, but many of you still don't seem to understand. So, to shake things up a little bit, to make the message a little more <coughs> funky and groovy, especially for you younger coil groups out there. So, let's present the distance manner, of course. What?
distance from Ember. Oh yeah, this is going to be for an hour. I got a bit carried away there. I'm going to suggest it. Look, they even took my power. Rock and roll. I'm sure you'll need refreshments after that performance. So, we've laid cups of tea and biscuits backstage. Would you like to join us? That's very kind of you. We'll talk. certainly helped our flag challenges. But we mustn't forget the COVID pandemic and lockdown have been devastating for so many people. Just every loss, life is in the wound and families struggle to adopt new changes. Yes, we've taken a look at a few aspects of lockdown in a light-hearted way this evening. But the pressures the but the pressures these and other things have created are really are very real. And the effects of social distancing have had to longer isolation and oppression in a lot of valuable people. In our efforts to share all the family members, they have often gone months without contact with the people they love. And of course, lots of feelings. Some of us may have been more personally affected by this than others, but as individual families, a school, community, a nation, and the world, we have all been touched by what has happened. So let's take a moment to think about and remember those who throughout these difficult times have paid the highest price. Fantastic job the scientists did. How oh, hard they worked to get it ready so quickly. I bet there was some celebration in the laboratory on the day they made the breakthrough. I wish I'd been a fly on the wall. Hello, YouTube. You join us at the lab where we're having a party. We've done it. The final test results are back. And ladies and gentlemen, we have an effective vaccine. Needless to say, we are very drunk. Let's get a reaction from Professor Hans Basinski. Who co led this research. Professor Space, tell us how you're feeling. Hello, everyone. Yes, it's been a crazy few months, but here we are in this land and we're celebrating. Hey, Pam. Hey, Pam. Come say hello to YouTube. Come on, Pam, please. The great Professor Pam Dennis, without whose efforts we wouldn't be here. Come on, Pam. Say something. Hi, well, yes, it's been an amazing day, but one in there, Josh. It's just what we did. And this is where it all happens. <laughs> 
24-7. We haven't seen daylight for months. But now we can relax a little. And some of us seem a little more relaxed than others. Right, we have some final few loose ends to tie up before we send the stats and off the manufacturers. So it's goodbye from the lab.
again. Wow, what a year it's been. Such an amazing time we've all lived through. One day, children like you will be learning our experiences in their history lessons. I think it's been like our blitz, hasn't it? Everyone's turned uh, again, in the face of a common enemy. Uh, I suppose it's been like our blitz, hasn't it? Everyone's turned together in the face of a common enemy. And when it's probably over, maybe we will notice that things have changed for the better. Maybe we'll all learn to appreciate what we have and not taking anything or anyone for granted. And when most of the opportunities and do all those things and be all those people, we miss as the crazy has started. So everybody, all that, le all that left to say is thank you for joining us and how wonderful it is that we can all at last be together to be free to explore our pos possibilities. Now, let's lift the roof off this place. Thank <laughs> you.